Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at top level async await. This is something that's been coming across various uh, environments. Node has added it. Uh, you could do it in dev tools today, but the browsers themselves still haven't, um, but it's coming very soon to a browser near you. Uh, what is it? Well, at the moment to use the um, await keyword, you need to be within an async function. You can't do it at the global top level. Uh, but that's all about to change. So um, let's jump in and have a look. Before I do that, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe button below, change the alert, alert icon to all, uh, and you'll get updates for future videos. Right, let's have a look. So I'm in Chrome 88, uh, which currently today does not allow top level async await. Um, so let's look at what you would do today, and we'll look at how this affects the importing of libraries. So if I wanted to um, dynamically import a library today without top level async await, I would be doing something like import. I'm going to pull this in from Skypack. So I've just got that stored on the clipboard there. Um, and we could use a promise. So this dynamic import does return a promise and it will return our package and we would be able to use that in here. So I could um, I could do console.log23, am I trimmed? And do the same, but now use the package. Like so. All right, so if I just clear that to see what we've got coming out here. So this is working today. You can use promises and that's not a that's not an issue, but we like to use async await. It's nice, it's easier, it looks better. Um, so let's have a look at how we would do that today uh, in Chrome. Now to change this into async await, we would be doing something like const underscore equals await. So we don't need the then anymore. Your code starts to look a lot nicer. Um, so that's what I would like to do. So let me clear this and just put a change in here to make it update. Okay, so today in Chrome 88, we're getting an error. Um, that is because we're not allowed to do top level async await. Now the way around this, if you're not going to use promises and you want to use this, you can put it within a function. That's fine. Async await works within functions, just not at that top level. Um, so we would say async function and we can just put all of this inside there and then uh, immediately execute it back to the old iffy world and if I clear that now and get it to update again um, async function my syntax is not completely correct I don't, think I, I don't think I need to give it a name, do I? Oh, I, I guess I don't actually need to have um, for arrow. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Let me just clear that again. Get a two in there. And we should see that is working again. Now you can tell that you can see that we're getting the library in because we're using the underscore uh, trim and it's working on this second statement here. So today, that is the kind of workaround, but we would like to get rid of the whole of this iffy stuff um, and just have it working like this. But that does not work in Chrome today. Let's take this and head over to Canary, which is version 89. And if I come in here now, and paste that same code that wasn't working then we should see voila it now works so 
It's only one version away, so it's coming very soon, and you'll be able to do top level async await within uh, the browser. Uh, there you go. Hope that was interesting. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, thumbs down if not. And uh, don't forget to click that subscribe as well. So there's, there's a lot more um, in terms of what this can be used for and so forth. I'll put some links um, into the description for where it is with TC39 um, and some um, documentation from people who have written about it before. Certainly Rich Harris had a good, a good document on it. So I'll link that as well. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.